Next tonight to the historic flood emergency playing out in the heartland. At least two people are dead, and the National Guard and state police are reporting nearly 300 rescues in Nebraska alone. Roads ripped away as several rivers rise to record levels, including the Missouri, amid rapid snow melt and ice jams. Several communities are cut off tonight, and Sam Champion has more. Tonight, two dead, one missing, and hundreds rescued as historic and devastating flooding continues to overwhelm residents from Nebraska to Wisconsin. The raging rivers intensified by rapid snow melt and ice jams. Hardest hit, Nebraska. Outside of Omaha, these images reveal water for miles. Much of Waterloo now cut off to the outside world. The Elkhorn River cresting at a new record, beating the old high water mark by more than five feet, blocking all routes in and out of the town, its residents completely trapped. This weekend, the National Guard using helicopters to rescue more than 100 people, some from the roofs of their homes. David Perkins, just one of those thankful, he was pulled to safety. I was petrified. You know, I didn't know what was, how fast it was coming up. Authorities saying bridges and roads like this one are unsafe, even after the water recedes. In situations like that, you try to grab the essential things and uh, pictures and things like that. Nebraska's governor characterizing the destruction as unbelievable. Look at this highway cracked in half, and this is what's left of the Spencer Dam after being destroyed by the roaring water. That breach releasing an 11-foot wall of water devastating three surrounding counties. Buildings like this cafe in Niobrara completely wiped out. The flood damage now extending into Iowa. These homes in Fremont County underwater as the flooding continues. Water everywhere you look in some cases. Sam Champion joins us live now. Sam, what's going to happen with all that water? It's a big story the rest of the week as well, Tom. So let's show everybody where the warnings are tonight and get them ready. Um, the worst warnings showing them right around Omaha right now. Follow the Missouri River down, and we'll show you that water that drains south around St. Joseph. We're expecting that to go to major flood stage by Tuesday. Now move into Iowa because a lot of this water will drain into the Mississippi River. Mississippi already at flood stage. Let's go to St. Louis. That's at flood stage. It will stay at flood stage until the end of the week. We don't think the crest will happen until sometime near the end of the week, Tom. So all of that still stays in flooding for most of the week. A major weather event for so many Americans. All right, Sam, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.